movies, TV, documentaries, reality shows, sports, and sports entertainment. Everything we're talking about today, uh -huh. it's really good. You, you should, should check, check it out. This we're, is what we watched this last week. On Apple TV, we've got Shrinking. Shrinking, Harrison Ford. Jason Siegel and Jessica Williams. They are three therapists that yeah. share an office space. And share life together. There's also great comedic moments. Harrison Ford does edibles and eats a bunch of Doritos. So if you just watch it to see Harrison Ford get stoned and munch out, you totally got that. Totally worth it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so next, we have uh, Sharper. Yeah, the movie about the con people. The con people, yeah. The right. psychological thriller all about conning one another. Julianne Moore. Sebastian Stan. And uh, and young actress is really good. Brianna Middleton. Brianna Middleton. Middleton. And we can't give it away, mm -hmm. but really, right, the premise is the one con person outdoing another con person. person till the final ultimate con the ultimate con that wins all. The con of It's all really cons. very redemptive. I really liked the end. And then we suffered through Babylon. Yeah, I mean, it's three hours. And nine right? minutes. Brad Pitt is cool. It, it's this whole throwback to... The 20s. The 20s. Uh, the flapper era. The, the silent. silent movies. Mm -hmm. they, they were wild. They did whatever they wanted to do. And when the sound came in, it also ushered in conservatism yeah. in Hollywood and, and having to tone things down. I mean, the first two hours were good. Once you see Tobey Maguire, the movie's going down. Oh, yeah. It gets dark. It Toby's, gets really dark. Toby's that alarm for you if you don't want to see anything dark after his scene, then you just, can just tap out. Tap out, yeah. Um, what's the next one? A special Forces. Oh, yeah, the Secret Forces guys. <laughs> uh, These guys are amazing. They're all real life. BA dudes mm -hmm. who have killed people, who have been right. behind enemy lines and know what you have to do to survive. Right. So they put 16 celebrities in the Wadi Rum Desert in Jordan through 10 days of intensive training to be a special forces officer. Yeah. And of course, the celebrities I mean, drop like flies. They put you on fire, make you breathe toxic gas. Yeah, make you scale a building. Drown you. Mm. I mean, it's, it's intense. It's no joke. Hannah Brown is the queen of reality. We're talking about used to be on The Bachelor. The bat she was the Bachelorette, right, yeah. And now she's. I really. I think she won the hearts of all of the the secret agent dudes. They they look like they all loved Hannah Brown. Yeah, they were crushing. Another reality show we watched, Married at First Sight. Married at First Sight. Yeah. Way different, but the stakes are pretty high. You got, <laughs> you know, just what it says. Married at First Sight. It's on the sixteenth season. Of people just being put together and married. Right. right? Like, we're right. married, but we got to know each other a lot yes. before that. Yes, so <laughs> we did. This, this is wild. It's, it's a wild show. The families meet, the families clash, the friends. Right. Um, I mean, they go on the honeymoon after just knowing each other for two days. One couple got a divorce already yeah. just after the honeymoon. I don't have a lot of faith in the couples. No, right none of the couples we'll really see. seem to be. But maybe really you gotta watch and see because there's one couple, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Gina and Clint might. Gina make and Clint it. might maybe, make it. Maybe. Also, uh, the watchful eye. The watchful, the watchful eye. eye. You got ghosts, nannies, These nannies. Rich people, liars. A lot of, a lot of rich people. There's I a guess cop. synonymous, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's getting wild on that show as well. Yeah. Mario Molino, the star. Yeah, she's doing a great job. She's taking us through the whole, you know, maze of, of trying to find this ruby she's looking for. In the Greyborn building. There it is. Mm -hmm. um, what else? We watched The Last Laugh. The Last Laugh. Yeah, that, you know, was a surprise kind of sleeper at first, but really picked up and got me into it. Chevy Chase, Richard Dreyfus, just doing their thing as, as amazing actors, but, but dealing with real life and, and the fact that they're both getting older, and that's what this movie's about, yeah, right? It's touching. It is. It is. It's very meta, right? You got aging actors playing people that are working in a movie, but it's, it's hard to get old and stop working. Yeah, Andy McDowell's also in it. Yeah, Andy McDowell's beautiful, beautiful actress, amazing. One of my favorite movies she was in was Groundhog Day. Yeah, we also um, watched Raw and SmackDown this week. WWE, Monday Night Raw, and SmackDown uh, on Friday nights. 
And my favorite highlight from Raw yeah. was Lita and Becky taking right. the tag team belts from EO Sky and Dakota Kai because like I'm mm -hmm. over damage control. Yeah. It was Becky time to and go. Lita all the way. And the return of Lita was awesome. I'm getting a kick out of all the daddy issues in right. the WWE right now. Roman Reigns is picking on Cody Rhodes because Cody on Raw challenged, said he was going to come talk to Roman on SmackDown. Mm. He did. And Roman said, hey, your dad used to talk to me and he imitated Dusty Rhodes. Yeah. And Cody's basically dad. told Cody that his dad never talked about him, but always saw Roman as the champion and knew he would be and was the son he never had. Even more daddy mm. issues. You got Rey Mysterio with his son Dominic Mysterio, and who's just so disrespectful. Mm. He ripped the mask on SmackDown and, and pushed ripped, Rey physically ripped down. Ripped his dad's. They're no. saying they could have a WrestleMania match. That'd him and his wild. dad. That would be really cool. A father son match at WrestleMania? You never know. I know. That could be epic. Yeah. Also, we had the season three premiere of The Mandalorian. Yeah, Pedro Pascal. And Carl Weathers. Yeah, Carl Weathers, the original Apollo Creed. Right. My yeah. favorite part of the show will always be Grogu, Baby Yoda. He's adorable. He's a cute little green guy. He really is. You know, and, and now the Mandalorian has to redeem his Mandalorian status because he showed his face to his little green buddy, which is like a father son kind of thing they yeah have. they have a cute and relationship so he had to show his face he did. so it was worth it now he's gonna redeem himself maybe maybe find a different way maybe maybe, maybe right. this isn't the way maybe this <laughs> maybe this isn't the way <laughs> we also watched uh somebody i used to know yeah which was and that was faith Tell him I didn't want to watch it. I was like, eh. yeah. Yeah, Allison Brie and Dave Franco. Allison Brie and Dave Franco, they're married. Yeah. Uh, they wrote it together. He directed it. She starred in it. And uh, then I loved it. It was amazing. It, yeah, and I had, and I like, I'm a sucker for the old rom coms. And, and they had, not that it's like an old rom com, but it had cool moments from it that reminded me of My Best Friend's Wedding, Runaway Bride. You know, people just acting real and appropriate, doing wrong things, but it leads to good things. Right. It's it's a journey. It's unexpected. The dialogue is great. Yeah. It's good. The tension is high. Dave Franco, way to go, man. Right. Uh, 47 meters down, uncaged. Oh, dang. It's like Jaws meets Escape Room. Literally. Under the, yeah, it's. It's crazy. There's Underwater caves, craziness. Ruins, tunnels, lack of oxygen, sharks. Sistine Stallone given a lot. I gotta say, a little bit of gratuitous butt shot thing. Sorry, Sly. Right, and you, you just know that it's a survival horror, and most people are not gonna make it out. I was pretty anxious. Spoiler alert: I a lot of people anxious. die. Yeah. <laughs> but it was great the whole time. Uh, you're engaged and definitely worried and stressed out. So if you want to be stressed, watch that one. We also went back in time to 1998 and watched A Night at the Roxbury. Yes, Will Ferrell. Chris Kattan, Molly Shannon. It's the old SNL yeah, skit. Yeah, started from the skit. Right, they're the brothers. It was hilarious. I really is one of my favorites. I saw it in the movie, uh, in the movie theater with my, my brother. And we grew up watching this together and we went out and saw it. And it was like, just like the first time I saw it. It's hilarious. It's wild. So, I mean, if you really just want to have a good time, whatever you do to relax, get in that mode. Because it's it's a silly movie, you know. Don't have a care. Put it on, and it'll just take you to a place that's very funny and, and a wild ride. Night at the Roxbury. Night at the Roxbury. And then, not not to be last, but the last of us. Pedro Pascal. Pascal again, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, I played the video game. So for those of you that have, it's very, very similar to the video game. It's... But very well done. Right, very well done. Yeah. It's cinematic. It's beautiful. Sometimes I have to brace myself because it's quite emotional as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're talking about end of life, right? End of life for everyone in, in a lot of ways. So th there's all these layered stories about that that, 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 that get heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and so that The Last of Us was the last one. All right. All right. So check it out. Right. Any suggestions, let us know in the comments. Also, if you've watched this stuff, let us know if you've checked it out. Yeah. All right. See you next week. Boom.